Hello everybody and welcome back to Arson Girl Gaming. My name is Heather and I thank you for joining me on my Sims Mobile Let's Play. This is the story of Jason Addy and their growing little family. We have our little daughter over here who is Elizabeth and um, she is going to become a child today. And then we have our other little daughter, Aria, who will become a toddler today. And the question is, will she have pink hair or blonde hair? My theory is blonde because her dad is a blonde and he initiated her birth. So let's find out. Oh my gosh, I got a pink haired baby. So apparently... My theory was wrong if you watched yesterday's episode that uh, the color of the hair is determined by the parent that initiates the birth. Uh, so that's really awesome. I'm glad I have a blonde and a pink. Let's wake these guys up. And let's go over here and look at our children. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. If I can get in there, look at how cute her hair is. Oh, I am so in love with this child. Elizabeth, you're adorable. If the painting would not cover you up. Oh, I wish we could play the children. Oh, I so wish we could play the children. But let's actually switch our, our little one's clothes because they keep coming dressed in the same clothes. And I want more choices. Do I get only two choices? Holy cow. All right, well, we're leaving her in this one. But I'm not going to change Elizabeth because she just looks precious. Yes, you do. And guess what, guys? I am going to retire the baby bed because these guys are only going to have two little ones. We're we're calling it a day on the baby making with these guys and I am doing the retiring of that bassinet so that we can put down some other stuff since we have reached our indoor limit and let's see is there anything we can not kid wise I do know though Played a little bit without you guys yesterday, as will be the case probably for this whole Let's Play, so I'll just do a quick catch up with you. But, let's see here, we unlocked the Baby Grand Piano. So, I wanna go ahead and put it in the music room. The question is, can I do it to where she can still use it? Let's put it here and we're gonna put, move this guy over here and adjust this here. I think that looks good. Do we like the colors? I kinda like that one. I think I'll leave it on that. It looks like it's on the wall, but so yeah, so she's moving up in her piano career, which is really exciting. And so that's pretty much, I'm gonna give you a lowdown on Jace and Addie this morning or for their morning. So we're about to get married. And just so you know, I did, if I can get out here, decorate the house. The wedding is gonna happen. Uh, so their relationship's at a nine. So that's awesome. I had uh, Jace working with Dion to become enemies because I wanna get the mischief skills. Um, we have one more day till they get to be adults. So they're really being pretty successful as young adults. He's gonna level up to a level five in his doctoring career. He still has no hobby because I haven't figured out if I wanna do that. And as always, I hit this stupid button which I shouldn't hit all right so then let's go to Addie here oh she already did one of her daily goals so that's good not sure what it was but I'll take it and her relationships here she has a bunch of acquaintances she has her cute little daughters and it's really sad when you see 
their uh, deceased relatives grayed out there. All right, so she has one more day, of course, to adult. She and Jace are the same age. Level two on her barista hobby. She's a level five. And I just did it again. Golly gee. Okay, so let's have a wedding. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why are we not able? There we go. We're going to get married. Addie and Jace are going to make it legit. Let's do this. Oh, put the ring on it. Oh, love it. Love it. I just wish they would come up with a little bit more of an animation so that we don't see the ring over and over and over again for a minute. And I also want to just see how many people walk by the wedding. <laughs> oh, is that Dion? Oh, I can't tell because he's getting married. Um, so we've got two people here. Oh, there's three. All right. How many more people? Are these all guests at the wedding? They're just going to watch. I think that is Dion. They're going to watch from a distance and be like, these fools getting married. Jeez. Really? Oh. He's like, nope, peace out. But we got this one creeper over here just hanging out watching. And there's a Sheena lookalike walking by right now. All right, wedding is over. We are married. Oh, look how cute they are. My game is kind of glitchy. But they are married. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. They're just cute. They're a fun little generation to do. Oh, we got another another little gathering here, all these well-wishers. I love that these two are like standing on top of each other. All right, quest is completed. We'll get some more XP, which guys, once we level up, we finally are going to hit that level 22, which is going to be amazing. All right, what are you doing, Elizabeth? You're just sitting there looking at the candle. She is so cute. Probably my favorite little kid for now. I love that pixie. So adorable. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? There she is. She's just hanging out by the chair. All right. So let's go through now that they're married. Let's go see what Jace wants to do today. He wants to have three friendly interactions with the Sim. Improve his doctrine. All right, we can do that. Find a hobby. I don't know what hobby I should have him do. Hmm, maybe cooking because we're getting low on food. So let's do the cooking hobby for you. Yes, that takes care of one of your thing. But let's have some um, interactions with our little one because I love the high chair interaction and then we'll have you hang out with uh, Elizabeth as well this high chair interaction is just so sweet and I love that pink hair I was just I was hoping I get a little pink pigtails I wish we could change their um, look you know Let's help Elizabeth with an art project. All right, I don't care. Go away. Oh, so sweet. Help her do her homework. That's right. I was going to make Jace a writer, wasn't I? Well, you know, a man's got to eat. So he can still be a writer. He is just not going to... Uh, do it on camera. Still going to work on his book because he was doing his research on his dating. Oh, and speaking of dating, I think there is, why am I chapping on Market Square? Oh, it's really weird. Since I did the latest update, it's like um, the game kind of restarted all of the tutorial. I've been noticing like little quirks like this. So let's just do his 
friendly interactions. Oh, I thought we could go to Will Tuttle's house, but is this Will Tuttle? No. Nope. Oh, I guess it is. All right, it said three friendly interactions, but oops, hello, I did not mean to do that. Where did Will go? Hello, Will, come back. I want to go to more options, friendly, and okay. So it's not going to count. There are three new venues. I know. They're not new. I already have them. All right. I don't know why we're not getting the blue things, but let's go do this market square thing so that it stops nagging me. There's a music festival going on. There's work that he could do. But everything's unlocked, so I don't know that it's going to uh, make that go away. But let's just let him go to work. And we'll work on that goal for today. Oh my gosh. Please go away, notice. Please, please go away. Yeah. Seriously, I have no new venues that I can do. This is the uh, downside, guys, to playing a game that has not been officially released. You're going to get weird things like notices that don't go away. And since I can't unlock anything, it may be there for the rest of my days. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, brother. So, uh, Jace, he is really moving on in his life, doing well. And I'm really thrilled with how well he's doing in his career, how well he's doing as a father. I think Jace and Addie could actually be my most successful Sims yet, bypassing even Tiffany and Cash. And because I'm only doing two children, then as they age up, I can make them playable. And I think it could be really quite a fun little um, progression. And I'm really excited to see how, how it pans out because I know you've heard me say this before, but I really want to play grandparents and watch that interaction. And I really think we may be able to do that within the time limits allotted us for these guys' lifespan. Which would be fantastic. Fan-fantastic. I love the skeleton. That's one of my favorite interactions in this whole thing. He's just like hanging out. Jace is like, hey buddy, what's up? Yeah, so did you hear the one about the femur? I don't know. Uh, yep. Yeah. And the skeleton laughs his head off, uproariously happy. <laughs> In Jace's mind, anyway. In Jace's mind. All right, come on. Who are we going to... Harper is busy. Well, Harper, you just be busy looking at the trash can or whatever it is you're doing. Jace got things to do. Can't wait around for you to free up. We're going to finish up this event. We're going to send Jace home. And have him spend some time with his children using up the rest of his energy if that's possible. My gosh, I wonder what Harper is stuck on. That's interesting. I've never seen an NPC be sat as so tied up onto something. 
Look at this guy. He's like, what you doing? What you looking at in that trash can? Do you mind if I look too? I don't know what's there, but you know, I'm down. All right. So let's see where that leaves us with his career. Perfect. He's going to go to level six here next time we play. But for now, let's go home. And let's spend a little bit more. Oh, we can't. Okay. Can we just talk to her? Tell her a story. Oh, your friend's hanging out at the table. Oh, yeah. Get out of those doctor clothes. All right. Yep. Tell her all about the stuff she needs to know. Go ahead and chair her up. I don't know why she's not happy. Aw, look at her hanging her little head. She's like, Dad, you're the best. I love you. Okay, windows are getting in the way. I love it. All right, and let's go see our littlest one. What can we do here? Let's give her a hug. Baby girl, you the cutest. I love you. I got the best little daughters. I love it. Love it, love it. They're just all so cute. All right, so Jace, guess what? It's Betty time. Go get some energy back. Let's see. Oh my gosh, am I not going to be able to get rid of this? Let's go to Parkside. Uh, no. <laughs> go away. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, come on. Everything's unlocked. Just make this thing go away. All right, guys. I'm going to close down the game and come back and see if it'll go away. So be right back. All right, so far so good. We are back and it looks like that silly notification has gone away. So actually, I'm going to have Elizabeth just do one little career event, see if we can't um, level her up on that. And then she also wants to sit and read a book and have a social event with a friend. Whoops, sorry. Yes, I see. And of course, Tie the knot. She got married. Why didn't she get her? Oh, crap. So she had to initiate the get married? Oh, man. Well, that just stinks because that means I'm not going to ever be able to get her leveled up unless I divorce her from Jace. I wonder if I divorce them if I can marry them again. Huh, might have to try that. Not sure if that's possible. Wow, that's kind of a bummer. But let's, we'll have to try that after the energy regenerates for Jace and find out because otherwise she'll never complete the rest of her life goals. And then she will be a failure in my prediction of them being the most successful Sims yet that I am doing will not come true and I will be heartbroken, like seriously heartbroken. Oh, man, I didn't even think think about the fact that I couldn't do it. I just assumed if she got married it would initiate it. <laughs> Lots of little things to learn about this game, guys. Lots of little things to learn. So, if you follow me you know that a few weeks ago I started playing Sims Free Play again. And now that I'm playing the two side by side, they're so very, very different. Um, 
that it is just kind of crazy for me to think about which one I like better. And there are things that I like better about each of them. So for instance, The Sims Free Play, I really like the sense that there's so much going on. You can have so many people doing things and while you typically repeat a lot of the same actions, there's a lot of new stuff going on. Um, and there's you don't really get bored because you're not doing the same repetitious stuff over and over again. This game is the opposite. You have a limited number of things that you can do and while the graphics are better and the home design is more fun in my opinion, I mean you only get one house to design, but and the interactions are shorter, it gets a little bit more boring. Like if I wasn't telling stories with these guys, I would probably still not not still be playing. Um, if that makes sense, because there's just so few things that I can really do um, that it, it's hard for it to keep my interest. Now, that being said, I do like that I can just come in and, and do a little snippet here and there, and I probably won't get as lost as I did with The Sims Free Play. Now, that could change because we could get surprised with like a huge, you know, upgrade to this game, and it could get much more in depth, make it a lot more Sims 4 like. And if that's the case, you know, I will be thrilled. And I'm not saying I don't like this game, and I'm not complaining, so don't get me wrong. I'm just trying to compare the two games to one another because most of us that are Simmers will be playing all of the games. And um, I prefer the feel of this game just as I prefer The Sims 4 to The Sims 3, I like the graphics better, I like the looks of The Sims. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's trade-offs. And I'm kind of glad now that we have both to go hand in hand. I'm also glad that I decided to start playing Sims Free Play again with the uh, addition of the, the update for the downtown area with the uh, penthouses and so forth because I love that we have yet another area that we can do and some more kind of things we can design and and by playing and talking to you guys I've kind of learned different ways to play which I really think is awesome and you guys honestly enhance my enjoyment of the game so much. Look at her playing that piano. I almost said look at her playing the guitar. I love this piano. Love it, love it, love it. But I did, if you look at the wall here, I did absolutely put it into the wall. <laughs> oh well, tis what it is, isn't it? Uh, let's just see. I want to keep her going and hopefully get some higher stuff going on here before she has to go to bed. But yeah, so anyway, um, the games are very different. Don't, if you're not playing this game yet and you're watching these series, of course, then you know what to expect. But I think if you go into it with an open mind, there is definitely a way to enjoy this game. And, you know, even though you do the repetitious stuff, it's opening up more stuff that you can build, more stuff that you can design. And for me alone, that's worth it. And as the glitches get worked out, I think it'll be even more enjoyable because we'll find more and more stuff that we can do. And, you know, so, but it is very, it's a very interesting dichotomy when you play the two of them together. So I'm glad I'm doing that. And I'm glad I'm, I've stuck with this game because I really do enjoy it. Like, I love little treats like getting this little daughter with this adorable little pixie cut. I mean, she's cute. And the storylines and what she could be when she grows up, just, you know, you just, I just, you can't put, you know, it's a free game. What can I say? I love it. Like, I just love being, a oh, look at that. Guys, I got a token. <laughs> I got a token. 
I almost never get a token for hobby events in the house. That's awesome. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I guess my ramble for today is just that I'm glad that we're given these games for free. I'm glad that we're able to play them and take the Sims on the go with us. Bottom line, I'll take it any way we can get it, and I'm really happy that we're given it. So, oh, I wonder if I can, yeah, let's go ahead and tuck Aria into bed. See how cute this looks. Oh, good. Good. She's actually laying with her head on the pillow instead of upside down, which in series one or season one, when we put the little boys to bed, they always slept upside down. So how sweet is that? Her legs are still kind of in the mattress, but you know, that's totally fine. I'm cool with that. I wish she'd stay in bed once we do that. You know what? One thing I want to see. Oh, I wonder if she can renew her vows. We'll try that. See if they can renew their vows and uh, she can make her daily goal go. And if not, then I'll probably have to divorce them and remarry them if possible. Which will totally throw off my gameplay, but that's what a game is for expect the unexpected. All right, guys, so that is it. I'm going to wrap up this episode, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you watched. Give me any comments, any feedback. You know I love that. And if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to get notifications when I post something new, hit that subscribe button. YouTube will make sure you don't miss out on a thing. So that's it. I'm going to wrap it up. We're going to leave with the girls just wandering around the house, and I will see you guys again real soon. Have a great one.